on Monday night, President Yoweri Seven, who is also the NRM party chairman, summoned the NRM legislators to State House and Tebe, largely to seek their support on the Mabira giveaway and redressing the current economic crisis. In an eight-page statement NTV has seen, Museven explains why part of Mabira Forest needs to go to Sugar Corporation of Uganda and the Simba government prison land in Masindi to Kinyara Sugar Works. Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi confirmed the caucus meeting. The whole idea is that obviously there is demand for sugar here, like elsewhere in the world, and we simply have to expand our sugar production if we are satisfied the demand. But MPs who attended the meeting say they blunt until they told the president to keep hands of Mavira. So really we didn't believe uh, like supporting that uh, proposal by the president. So all of us I think entirely said, Your Excellency, I think this is not the right direction to take in as far as increasing sugarcane plantation is concerned. We cannot continue making the rich richer. The man can afford to buy land. He has made too much money in this economy. Let him buy. We cannot continue giving for free. Land was offered to him by the Kavak previously. There was land that was offered to him by the Church of Uganda. If he really makes profit, then let him not become a beggar. We should not carry all his weight on our backs as Ugandans. Especially most MPs, we are telling him that, you see, much as you are the Alpha and Omega of the country, but you should also listen to us. Because for him, it was like, you see, most of us are saboteurs of the governments of the country. But he should also get sense out of what we are saying. You can't just give out plants like that. For example, that uh, uh, this is a very important and sensitive and sometimes emotional to some people. So we want to give it uh, enough uh, debate, uh, listen to different views before a decision is taken. Mm. And when government is ready, we of course will come to parliament. It's not something that can be dictated. This is a democratic. Uh, governance we have and parliament has its law. Nobody's got short circuit anything. The president also told MPs that there is no economic crisis in the country and that the high prices of commodities is an opportunity for farmers to make more money. But the MPs also disagreed. Was, there is crisis. Some of us can't even afford the fuel. You can't say there is no crisis. If there was no crisis then we would be driving ourselves to the president's place but we bought buses. A committee was set to study the degraded part of Mavira and come up with a report which will be presented in the next caucus meeting. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.